This is a review of the topics that we have covered this week. That's inequalities, forming and solving equations, and changing the subject of a formula. Inequalities. When we have inequalities, we are using our greater than, less than, greater than or equal to, and less than or equal to symbols. The first question here says on the number line, show the inequality n is bigger than 2. So n is on the bigger side, so n is bigger. And on a number line, we will draw a circle at 2. And draw an arrow in the side that's bigger. So anything bigger than 2, n can be. The second one. On the number line, show the inequality, and we've got n is bigger than negative 2 and less than or equal to 5. So we'll draw a circle at negative 2, and we'll draw a circle that we colour in at 5. So we colour in a circle to show that it can equal 5. So we join these two up, and that tells us that it's in between negative 2 and 5, it can equal, it can take 5 as a value, but it can't be negative 2. So if it was an integer or a whole number, it could be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. It can't be negative 2 because it's got no or equals sign and it's not coloured in. Okay, two for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. The first one, on the number line, show the inequality B is less than or equal to 1. So the circle's at 1. It can equal it, so we'll colour it in. And we draw an arrow in the less than direction. That's towards the negative numbers to the left. And the second one, on the number line, show the inequality. So y is bigger or equal to negative 4. So that's going to be a coloured in circle, because it can equal negative 4. And less than or equal to 2. So that's also a coloured in circle, because it can also take the value of 2. So this inequality, if we were asked what numbers we could have, what whole numbers, what integers, that would be negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. So it can equal negative 4 because it's coloured in, and it can equal 2 because it's coloured in. When we solve inequalities, we follow the same steps as solving equations. The only difference is if we multiply or divide by a negative number, we need to make sure we change the sign so a greater than will become a less than. We can always avoid multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So if you avoid doing it, you never have to worry about changing the sign. So let's look at solving these. So I've got 4 times 2a plus 1 is bigger or equal to 18. So the first step, I'm going to expand the bracket. So 4 times 2a that's 8a, and 4 times 1 is 4. So 4a plus 4 is bigger or equal to 18. I want to get a by itself, so I'm going to get rid of the 4, the positive 4, by subtracting 4 from both sides. So that will give me 8a is bigger or equal to 14. And finally, I'm going to divide both sides by 8. So 8a is bigger or equal to 14. Divide both sides by 8. So a is by itself. So a is bigger or equal to 14 over 8. And I can simplify that by halving top and bottom. So a is bigger or equal to 7 over 4. That's a fraction in its simplest form. So that's a perfectly good answer.
if you wanted to write it as a decimal, it would be 1.75, but you can always give an answer as a fraction unless it specifically says it wants a decimal. The second one, so we've got an unknown on both sides. 5b minus 7 is less than 7b minus 19. The first step is to get rid of the smallest b, and that will be taking 5b away from both sides. So take 5b away from both sides. That leaves us with negative 7 is less than 7b take away 5b is 2b. So 2b minus 19. We want to get b by itself. So we'll get rid of the minus 19 by plusing 19 to both sides. 19 take away 7 is 12. So we've got 12 is less than 2b. And then to get b by itself, divide both sides by 2, half both sides. So that says 6 is less than b. If you want to write b on the front, so b is bigger than 6, b is on the bigger side. So you write b is greater than 6. Okay, two for you to try. So pause the video and have a go at these. For the first one, let's start by expanding the bracket. So 2 times t is 2t. 2 times negative 7 is negative 14. So 2t minus 14 is less than 15. We want to get t by itself. Let's get rid of the takeaway 14 by adding 14 to both sides. So 2t is less than 29. Then we'll get t by itself by dividing both sides by 2. So t is less than 29 over 2, which is our answer. Again, you could write it as a decimal, but you don't have to. That would be 14.5. And the second one. Let's start by getting rid of the smallest p, which is 6p. So take 6p away from both sides. So 9p take away 6p is 3p. So we've got 3p plus 9 is bigger or equal to 30. Now to get p by itself, we need to take 9 away from both sides. So 3p is bigger or equal to 21. And then divide both sides by 3, which gets p by itself. So p is bigger or equal to 7. Forming and solving equations. When we form and solve equations, we have to make the equation ourselves before we can solve it. The first example here shows a rectangle and the opposite opposite two sides are 3b minus 5 and b plus 9. Now we need to know the opposite two sides of a rectangle are equal. So we can rewrite this as an equation. We can say 3b minus 5 is equal to b plus 9. So we can work out the value of b that we're being asked to do by solving this equation. So let's get rid of the smallest b first. So take b away from both sides, which gives us 2b minus 5 equals 9. Then we can plus 5 to both sides, which gives us 2b is equal to 14. And then dividing both sides by 2 gets us b equals 7. If we want to check our answer, we can substitute the 7 back in and check that they're the same. So 7 plus 9 is 16. And 3 7s, which is 21, take away 5 is 16. So these lengths are both 16. 
there's a question, a different question that you can have a go at here. So give it a go. So it says, write down an expression for the perimeter of the rectangle. So the perimeter, that's all of the lengths added up. The two opposite ones are equal. So we've got two of the 3a minus ones. And we've got two of the 2a's. So we've got two times 3a is 6a. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and 2 2 a's makes 4 a. So collecting these like terms, 6 a plus 4 a, that's 10 a, and we've got a takeaway 2. So the perimeter is 10 a takeaway 2. That's an expression, it's not an equation because it doesn't have an equal sign yet. But part b says, the perimeter is 43, find the value of A. So if the perimeter is 43, we can say the perimeter, which is 10A minus 2, is equal to 43. Now we've got an equation and we can solve it. So plus 2 to both sides. 10A equals 45. And divide both sides by 10. That gets A by itself. So A equals 45 over 10 is 4.5. And we can say centimetres. And changing the subject of a formula, that means rearrange the formula. So in this first example, we've got A equals 2B plus 5C all over D. At the moment, A is the subject because it's in the form A equals something. We need to make B the subject, so we're going to rearrange the formula so B is by itself. So the first step, because it's all divided by D, we can get rid of that by multiplying both sides by D. So if I multiply both sides by D, A times D is AD. A times D is just AD. AD means A times D. And I've got rid of the divide by D. So I've just got 2B plus 5C on the right side. I'm looking to get B by itself. So I'm going to take away this 5C. So if I take away 5C from both sides, that means I've got AD minus 5C equals 2B. And I want B by itself, I want 1B by itself. So I divide both sides by 2, which gives me B equals AD minus 5C over 2. Okay, a question for you to try here as well. So pause the video and give it a go. So at the moment, we've got A equals the square root of 2b minus cd. We need to make b the subject of the formula. Let's get rid of the square root. It's all square rooted at the moment. And the opposite of square rooting is called squaring. So let's square both sides. So a squared is a squared. And if I square the square root, we get rid of the square root. So we're just left with 2b minus cd. We want B by itself, so we can get rid of the CD. So it's a takeaway CD at the moment. We're going to plus CD to both sides. So we've got A squared plus CD equals 2B. Then to get the 2 away from B, at the moment it's multiplied. So we do the opposite of multiplying, which is dividing. So half both sides. And that gives us B equals A squared plus CD all over 2. And that was the week 3 review. There is now an assessment available. The link will be in the description to this video 
or if you're watching on the Maths Genie website, it will be at the bottom of the page.